we will move on to the next definition next definition is associated enterprise what is an associated enterprise section 92a 92b is about international transaction 92a is about associated enterprises so the definition says that an enterprise which participates directly or indirectly or through one or more intermediaries in management control capital of other enterprise so there are two associated enterprises one enterprise is is participating in the management control and capital of the other enterprises then these both enterprises are to be associated enterprises for example we will take our standard example of a company a and company b okay company b there is a uh, kmp appointment is there kmp means key manager key managerial personnel so company a the company b is consulting company a to finalize the candidature so what who who can be appointed as a key managerial personnel in the company's company b then in this particular case as a is having the you know decision control decision control on the management of the company b then a and b are said to be associated enterprises this is a direct connection direct association so for example um, let's take this this is the same example only company a and company b yeah so company a b and c so company a is having a control on company b company b in turn is having a control on company c a is participating in the appointment of uh, key a kmp for company b and and company b is participating having a decision decision control on the company c for the appointment of kmp now in this case a and b are associated enterprises and b and c are associated enterprises and indirectly the 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 law says here indirectly indirectly means here a and c also becomes associated enterprises because b is having a control on c so here b and c can be an associated enterprises of a now we we'll see that i have given the same definition same uh, sorry same example here also if a limited participates in b limited management then a and b are associated enterprises this is a direct association if b limited participates in c limited management then b and c are associated enterprises of a limited so this is the first point this talks about the associated enterprises enterprise point number 1 talks about enterprise point number 2 talks about persons like i can say enterprise means they are talking about the company llp partnership firm like that in 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 company in point number c they are only talking about the persons persons also same point whoever is having the directly or indirectly or through intermediary or through one or more intermediaries if they are having a management control capital of other enterprises a decision decision power then they are companies are said to be associated enterprises for example there is ambani is there mukesh ambani so ambani has invested in two startups startups a startup b in this he invested 51% and 51% he purchased 51% stake in both the companies company a and company b so even though there is no direct relation between company a and company b in this case this then still these both are said to be associated enterprises because there is a common person common person is having a holding in both the companies that is point number b if one or more persons participate directly or indirectly or through one or more intermediaries in management control or capital of two different enterprises here a and b are two different enterprises they don't have a direct connection but there is one person ambani is holding a stake in both the companies in summary what is associated enterprises associated enterprises means associated the enterprises which participates either directly or indirectly or through or through intermediaries in the management control and capital of the other enterprises that is point number 1 point number b is about the persons if 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 a person or through one or directly or through one or more intermediaries having a participates in management control and capital of the of the common enterprises then also this that the those enterprises are said to be associated enterprises that is the definition of associated enterprise provided in section 92a similar to deemed international transaction we have seen in the in that earlier international transaction definition similarly there is a deemed associated enterprises also 
So what are these deemed associated enterprises? See, over a period of time, they identified 13 different categories where they don't have the, they don't fall under the definition of associated enterprises, but still they are considered as a deemed associated enterprises. So what are the situations? For example, if I say I have a company and my, my friend is also having a company. So he is dependent on me and whatever raw material that I am providing to him, he is dependent on for the further production of for his uh, company. Okay, and I am the only provider of raw material to him. So he is the only purchaser for me. So 100% raw material he is purchasing from me only. Then me and my friend company are associated enterprises. Similarly, I advanced a loan to him, which is actually contributing to more than 51% of the total assets. 51% of the total assets of his company. Then also we both can be said to be a associated enterprises. These points were given in the study material as one by one all the 13 points in a, uh, 13 points one by one. So what I did is I actually segregated for, for easy reference I actually segregated these into the multiple categories relating to the director's appointment, relating to the operations and, and relating to the control and ownership like that. So I, I divided these into the categories, these 13 categories. Now we will see one by one. Now we will see the first category. First category is relating to the relating to control and ownership, control and ownership related points. Now I will explain you with, with a simple examples here. I will write it down here. So for example, there is a company called VA that is Virus Academy. And there is another company called who is running some food business that is called X company, company X. Okay, Virus Academy is having a stake in this uh, company around 26%. Law says that if one enterprise is having a 26% voting power, they said clearly voting power in uh, another company or another enterprise, then these both are said to be associated enterprises. So when I'm, when I'm reading about 26% voting power, voting power, sir, can, can preferences will be included when debentures will be included? I will tell you simply that any instrument having a voting power, that means with this instrument, you will, you will be able to vote in the AGM. So if you have that voting power, then that is covered under this 26%. Whether it can be equity share, if preferences are having the voting power, then preferences will also be included into this 26% of calculation. Now, if this company is having a 26% of voting power, then both are said to be associated enterprises. Now, point number B, we are moving on to the next point, point number B, substantial voting power in two entities by common person. So, I will explain you with an example. So, with the same companies, we will going to uh, explain this also. So, Virus Academy, one company, company X. This time, in this example, Virus Academy doesn't have any stake in company X. But, bo in both of these companies, one person is controlling, controlled by one person. That is Ratan Tata. Ratan Tata is interested in both the companies and he invested 26% stake in Virus Academy as well as 26% in company X. In both the companies he invested. Now, even though Virus Academy and company X doesn't have a direct association, still it is said to be a associated enterprises because one common person is holding 26% or more of the voting power in, in these two companies. That is about point, point number B here. Then point number C here. In this particular case, same example, in the same example, Ratan Tata doesn't hold any stake in this, any stake in both in these both these companies. But but he is having a controlling power. Just a minute. So he doesn't have any any stake in this both the company, but he is still having a controlling power in both the companies the controlling power. So that means he can decide who can be the board of directors. He can decide who can be the MD. He can decide who can be the manager of the company. So etc, etc. He have the all the control on the on the company. So in this case, even though he doesn't have any stake, still this com Virus Academy as company X is said to be associated enterprises because one common person is having a control on both the companies. That is point number C. Now point number D. Point number D says, Point number D and E are simple. So point number D says control by HEF or member thereof. When where one enterprise is controlled by a HEF, 
and the other enterprise is controlled by a member of such HAF. That means there are two members, there are two enterprises, or uh, these two members are belong to one HAF. Then these both enterprises are said to be associated enterprises. That is what the point number D says. Now the last point under this category that is E. Point number E says that simply one enterprise, if one enterprise is having a 10% or more, 10% or more interest, that means interest in the capital, 10% or more if he is invested in form, association of persons or body of individuals, then that enterprise can set to can set then particular form AOP or BOA is said to be associated with this particular enterprise. Okay, that is point number E. So there are total five points in this category that is related to control and ownership. The first point says direct relationship. One enterprise is holding a 20, more, 26% or more of the voting power in other enterprise. Then both are said to be associated enterprises. Say so point number two, one common person who holds in 26% uh, in, uh, more or voting power in two different entities. Then these two, two entities are said to be associated to each other. Then point number three, controlled by common individual. Even though he doesn't have a stake, are, are sufficient stake, still he is controlling the two enterprises, then those two enterprises have to be associated enterprises. In the HEF, one HEF member is holding one enterprise and another HEF is having uh, holding another enterprise, then these both enterprises have to be associated enterprises. In the last point, if one enterprise is having a 10% or more stake in the AOP BOI firm, then these firm AOP or BOI with that associated with that enterprise can set to be associated enterprise. There are total five points here in summary. That is the category number one. Now we are moving on to the second category. Second category is more about the appointment of directors. Very simple point. There are only two points in this category. So I will take an again example of VA. Virus Academy Company X. So Virus Academy is controlling Company X. That means more than 50% of more than 50% of board of directors appointment or governing body members or executive directors are appointed by the Virus Academy only. More than 50%. Then Virus Academy and X are said to be associated enterprises. This is point number one. For example, these both are let me just rub it off. So, Virus Academy and Company X. These are both are controlled by as like a earlier example by Ratan Tata. And in both of these companies, more than 50% of the board of directors are executive members or governing body members appointed by directly by the Ratan Tata only. Then in this case also, even though Virus Academy and Company X doesn't have any association, these both are said to be associated enterprises because if the appointment can done by the one, one common person. That's all about the relating to the appointment of directors. If these conditions are satisfied, these enterprises are said to be associated enterprises. Now we are moving on to the third category relating to the operations. Relating to the operations. There is a point number A here. Uh, I will I will take an example and explain you the what exactly it's talking about. Is that so? For example, I am running a pharmaceutical company, one pharma company, and there is a laboratory was there. This laboratory has developed a drug, developed a formula. That formula, I purchased this formula, I am paying some amount to this laboratory, I am actually using this formula and manufactured a drug. Drug name is X. Drug name is X. Now, I am dependent completely on this laboratory for my operations, for the, for the production. For example, if laboratory says that you cannot use this formula, then my company, there is no existence of my company. So I'm completely dependent on this laboratory only. In this case, this laboratory and this pharmaceutical company are both are said to be associated enterprises. Okay, any know-how, patent, copyright, trademark, licenses, franchises, any other business or commercial rights of similar nature, data, documentation, drawing, specification relating to any patent, invention, model, design, secret formula. This is called secret formula, one of the secret formula example of which other entity is the owner or in respect of which other entity has exclusive rights. Here the laboratories have exclusive rights. I'm just using the formula to manufacture the drug. Okay. And you need not remember the definition. Okay. They don't ask you the definition. They will actually, you need to understand the definition. That's it. So you need not remember all these points here. 
dependency on, on intangible with respect to which other enterprise has exclusive right. This is all what about. And for example, enterprise will become, I have given a note here. So when I say 100% here, when I say 100% and the law has used the word wholly dependent, what if in the same example, I am using, I am manufacturing the drugs 90% with the formula provided by this laboratory and 10% with the formula provided by other manufacturers also. In this case, whether this, these both are associated enterprises, the answer is no. These are not associated enterprises. The law has used the word wholly dependent, that is 100%. Even if 99% or so, these both are not associated enterprises. Okay, that's all. That's one point, one important point that you need to remember. Now moving on to the dependency of raw materials. Dependency of raw materials, if there are 90% or more of raw materials, come there is I will take a standard example A and B. If B is doing the manufacture, further manufacture of the of the products with the raw materials supplied by B, almost 90% or more raw materials supplied by A to B. B is not purchasing the raw materials from anybody else. He is purchasing the raw material majority, 90% or more from the company A only. And further, A says that this is the price that you need to purchase. This is where you need to sell this, sell this particular product after further manufacture. So he is deciding the terms and conditions. By, by this time, you need to make the payment. So everything, everything, the terms of the contract decided by the one enterprise, that is A. In this case, A and B are both are said to be associated enterprises. This is the raw material dependency. Okay. On the operations, first one is intangibles, intangible dependency. Second point is raw material dependency. Third is dependency on sale. If there is any control on the sale, this is the particular area only one enterprise controlling the other enterprises. This is the particular area only you need to sell. This is the particular people only you need to sell. Then that is also the those both are said to be associated enterprises to each other. This is all about the operations part. Now I'm moving on to the another one, the relating to the loans or borrowing. Loans or borrowing. For example, company A and company B. So company B total assets, let us say 100, just for example, total assets side. I'm not talking, taking only fixed assets, tangible and intangible. I'm taking the total assets. Total assets is 100. So out of which, let's take a good amount here. 100 is very small. 1 lakh, for example. 1 lakh. So, out of this 1 lakh, there is a 60,000 60, loan provided by 60,000 loan provided by A to B. Then, A and B are said to be associated enterprises. The reason is that, for if we, I will just read out this point. Advancing a substantial sum of money. One enterprise advances loan to other enterprise of an amount of 51% of or more of book value of total assets of other enterprise. In this case, the 51% comes to how much? 51,000. 51,000, right? Here 60,000 advanced by A to B. Then the total amount of money crosses 51%. In this case, A and B are said to be associated enterprises. This is what about the you know under category of loans and borrowings. Now is revaluation of assets will also be considered in this one lakh in this one lakh for example revaluation assets also there in the asset side of the balance sheet will that be considered in the total assets value the answer is yes we need to consider okay we need to consider that revaluation amount also now the last point under this category that is guarantee borrowings one enterprise guarantees 10% or more of the total borrowings of other enterprise they just said total borrowing whether it is a uh, you know, term loan or current loan, whatever, whatever the order of loan, whatever the loan category is there, the total borrowings, for the total borrowings, if one enterprise gives a guarantee that in case of his failure, I will pay, this is the guarantee, right? I will pay, that guarantee is gives for 10% or more of the total borrowings of the other enterprise which is existed in their balance sheet. Then these both are said to be associated enterprises. Now, we have seen all the categories. There is one miscellaneous category also there. Miscellaneous category is others. So, if anything is not covered under the above, above categories, but still these both enterprises is having a mutual interest relationship. If they both enterprise having a mutual interest relationship, which is not covered under the, any of the parts above, then, then also both are said to be associated enterprises. That is the, this miscellaneous point says. This is all about associated enterprises and deemed associated enterprises. What you need to do is you just need to remember the concept behind it instead of reading this multiple times. Reading multiple times, just understand these concepts. 
so nobody will ask you a question even i expect that nobody will ask you a question what is an associated enterprises and give me the definitions no they don't ask you that question they will directly ask the descriptive uh, sorry they don't they directly ask the practical questions only